Today on the Metal Roofing Channel, we kick off our brand new series, Standing Seam Metal Roof Design, with episode one, how to design a metal roof. What's up guys, I'm Thad Barnett from Sheffield Metals and welcome to the Metal Roofing Channel. I'm really excited to be kicking off this brand new series and if you're a designer or spec writer who has never specified metal before or if you've been specifying metal for years, this series is for you. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a single episode. Today we're going to talk about some factors to consider when designing a metal roof, including location, material choice, deck options, pertinent testing, and areas of concern. Initially, what comes to mind is the location. There are uh, certain requirements for when steel is appropriate versus when aluminum is a better choice. Uh, local codes, make sure you're up to date on uh, local and regional codes. Uh, for example, a Miami-Dade or a Florida building code. When it comes to standing seam metal roof selection, You've got a number of different materials to choose from. You've got steel, and within steel, you've got galvalume coated steel and galvanized coated steel. You've got aluminum products, uh, copper products, zinc, and stainless steel. For the purposes of this, we're going to focus on galvalume steel and aluminum. So, beyond your material selection, you also have to select your substrate that you're going over. We view substrates as two types. You've got open framing and you've got a solid substrate. Open framing is gonna be your typical Perlin type system, while your solid substrate is going to be comprised of a handful of different systems. You've got plywood and OSB, and there is a difference between the two, and you've got metal decking and metal decking with polyiso insulation. So now that you've determined the location of your project, the material that you're going to be using, and the type of substrate it's going to be installed over, the next thing you're going to want to consider is what type of pertinent testing is going to be suitable for the project that you're designing. A lot of things can factor into the tests that you're going to want to choose for the roof system you're designing. Common tests that you see throughout the country are uplift tests, water penetration, air infiltration, things like that. Other areas of the country, or depending on what it is that you're designing in particular, you might require certain testing that isn't so common with your standard roof system. Those can be wind-driven rain testing or large missile impact testing. Another thing we're going to discuss is the design of your roof and potential problems that might come up. Potential problem areas are penetrations, whether they're large or small. Uh, anywhere you have dead valleys where water can't shut off the roof naturally. Um, internal gutters. These are all things that we're going to cover during the parts of these series. So make sure you subscribe to the Metal Roofing channel so you can keep up to date with episode two coming out next week. Thanks for watching today's episode. And if you have any questions or you want some input on any step of the design phase, please reach out. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss episode two next week, which is all about slope factors. Thanks again for watching. I'm Thad Barnett, and we'll catch you next time.